What up guys? So as you can see, I came across some unique ammunition. This is, if my camera will focus, some pre-war French 7.5 ammunition. Sadly, somebody wrote on it, but these are not crazy rare, but you don't find them every day. Now, there's two boxes that are in really good condition right here. This one, I think, yeah, this one's the one that's in the best condition out of all of them. I don't see any marks other than that kind of ruins it. But yeah, so no matter what I choose to do today, those boxes will not get shot. Potentially this one, because it's not in perfect condition. And then this one is taped. You can see the tape right there. But yes, sadly all of them are written on. But for sure, I also got this bag of the same ammo. And it only has a little bit of the box right there. Yeah, there's the price that I paid for it. <laughs> but um, I put this on Facebook, showed people, and they're like, you know, those aren't going to go off, right? I had some 6.5 Carcano ammunition that had similar looking primers on them. And they didn't go off, like not one of them. The primers have a very short shelf life. I have four rounds in here. And I figure if they do actually function, I'm gonna flinch that first shot. So we're gonna see, all right. Well, here it goes, nothing. I got four rounds in here and uh, Yeah, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> that's a hundred percent what I thought was going to happen. A lot of people on Facebook are going to be like, I told you. Well, we'll try four of them. You should wait longer, by the way. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. All right, well, let's look at the bullets and see. Oh, they do have pretty pretty good primer hits. Well, so none of them went off. Good primer hits on each one of them. But the primers are probably bad. We're going to yank one bullet and see if we can get either the powder or cordite. I don't know what's in here see if we can light that on fire. So there's the bullet pulled. Let's try pouring this out. All right. So there's the powder. Let's see if the powder starts on fire. Yeah, so it's just a bad primer. Like so I guess I'm taking this ammunition home with me. <laughs> it is a collector's piece and I got two boxes that are in excellent condition. They look cool, but I was really hoping that at least the bag of ammo would have been all right. Cause I didn't mind shooting that. And then we could have seen what kind of accuracy potential World War II or pre-World War II ammo had. But a lot of people were telling me the same thing that it wasn't gonna go off and you guys were right. But now I have a cool collector's piece.